Hello dear people, welcome back. This question is from gate 2007 exam and is for 2 marks. Read the statement. They are saying the address of a class B host is to be split into subnets with the 6 bit subnet number. What is the maximum number of subnets and maximum number of hosts in a subnet? Okay. So they are talking about class B. In class B, first two octets are the network ID. Okay. So this part is network ID. That means using 16 bits, we can identify this network. Suppose this is the network that they're talking about. So it can be identified using these 16 bits. After this, we are trying to create subnets. Okay. So it's divided into some subnets. We need some more bits to identify one subnet. They are saying six bits can be used for this purpose. That means while subnetting, we have borrowed some bits from host ID part. How many bits? Six. Okay. So first six bits starting from here are borrowed. So from this octet, if you take away six bits, two bits will be left. So this part is now the subnet ID. And the remaining bits are host ID. Now let us see how many subnets are possible. You have 6 bits in subnet ID. So total number of subnets will be 2 raised to the power 6. And how many hosts can be configured can be configured in one subnet that will be 2 raised to the power 10 because 8 plus 2 is 10. We have 10 bits minus 2. Okay. So maximum hosts in a subnet. It is going to be 2 raised to the power 10 minus 2 because now this this total part that means 16 plus 6 these bits will kind of act as the network ID and these are the host ID bits okay in host ID you have 10 bits that means maximum 2 raised to the power 10 IP addresses are there okay so if this is a network you have 2 raised to the power 10 IP addresses. But in every network, first IP address is reserved for the network ID of this network. Okay. As well as last IP address is also reserved to act as broadcast address for this network. Okay. So 1 plus 1, 2 IP addresses are wasted. Okay. We cannot assign these IP address to any host. So maximum you can configure 2 raised to the power 10 minus 2 hosts only. Okay. So this is 1024 minus 2 that is 1022. And this is going to be 64. So the answer is 64 subnets are possible. And these many hosts can be configured in one subnet. Now you can see we don't have any option that says 64 and 1022. So is this question incorrect? No, it is not incorrect. This answer as well as this question both are correct. Actually, answer is option C 62 and 1022. How is 62 subnets correct? See, earlier we used to subtract 2 from the total number of subnets possible. There was a limitation that 2 subnets will not be used. But in modern networks, there is no such limitation. Okay. So these days, all 64 subnets can be used and two hosts cannot be configured. Okay. So total number of IPs minus two will be the number of hosts. Okay. So correct answer should be 64 and 1022. But because in options you cannot find 64 and 1022, maybe they are using the older convention. Okay. So the formula that was used earlier was 2 raised to the power number of bits available in subnet ID minus 2. Okay. So you can see option C will be correct. But in case there is some option saying 64 and 1022. Okay. Suppose you have these five options. Then just take this one only. Okay. In that case, this one will not be the answer. Okay. This is more appropriate. Okay. 